Now, distractions behind the wheel cause thousands of crashes every year here in Florida. Yeah, tonight, there's a new tool that could determine whether a driver was texting at the time of a collision. ABC Action News I-Team reporter Jackie Calloway introduces us to something called a textalizer. We set out in an unmarked car armed with a handheld camera. She's ignoring the uh, ambulance. In the span of 20 minutes, we spotted half a dozen rush hour drivers focused on their screens, not the street. Oh, that, that's one of my favorites. FSU senior LaVon Reese paid the ultimate price when a texting driver slammed into her car doing more than 80 miles an hour. Do you feel not enough is being done in Florida to address the issues of texting and driving and the danger it poses? Absolutely not. LaVon's aunt, Gwendolyn Reese, considers current legislation aimed at making texting and driving a first offense a start. So what I'm gonna do is connect this device. Technology created a tool that could aid law enforcement at the scene of a crash. You said it's 90 second process? It's approximately 90 seconds, yes. The textilizer works much like a breathalyzer. Here are some of the actions that we uh, saw. Textilizer's manufacturer, Celebrite, sent engineer Chris Shin with a prototype for our demonstration. From the passenger seat, I went on Facebook. We'll see if this thing is spot on. Used WhatsApp to send a message. Sending the text. And I made and took a call. Hello. We pulled back into the parking lot where Chris plugged the textilizer into the phone. We can see a text message was sent at uh, 1140. A um, native call was made incoming at uh, also at 1140 in 13 seconds. A WhatsApp message was sent at uh, 1135. A Facebook call was made at 1130.39. The minute by minute report enables police to determine if distracted driving contributed to the crash. An officer will only pull over a driver who they see manipulating a phone. State Representative Emily Slosberg lost her twin and four friends to a driver doing 90 miles an hour 20 years ago. I have made it my priority to ensure that our roads are safer so no other families have to go through what I went through. She's the driving force behind a current bill that would allow the cops to pull over a texting driver. Is this something that possibly the fall session you would be interested in introducing? It would be incredibly valuable in helping prove um, texting while driving. Celebrite says lawmakers in New York, New Jersey, Illinois, and Tennessee have expressed an interest, but the ACLU has already raised privacy concerns about the device. The phone would never leave the, uh, the, the uh, person's hands, the driver's hands. The tool records taps and swipes, not actual texts or content, and it'll never be used unless a law is passed. Because you know you can't get away with it. You know you can't just walk away. I'm IT reporter Jackie Calloway, taking action for you.